Yo's me boy, Shonen Boy, here today. I'm here today to talk about the latest episode of Bleach, the Thousand Year Blood War Arc, episode 10. So let's get straight into this uh, video. So we start off this episode with uh, Kenpachi, Zaraki, and Unahana uh, still battling it out, and um, I really liked the uh, way they uh, did the uh, title card uh, for the episode. Um, it was like in the blood of like Unahana's sword, and it said the battle. It looked really cool, and the blood like made up the words. It looked really epic and really cool. And I just love the, the fight between you know Kempachi versus uh, Unahana. It looked so well done. The animation, the art, the like dim lighting, and the um. And just the like uh, the atmosphere around the fight it looked so cool, and we got to see a backstory of the uh, first time that Unahana and also Kempachi, uh, you know, fought uh, back when you know, Kempachi was a kid, and like uh, he had his sword and he was uh, climbing over the big pile of bodies that Unahana um, was standing nearby, and uh, and um, Kempachi actually got a hit on you know Unahana and actually you know did the scar on her chest and uh, she remembers that you know Kempachi was you know so uh, you know more powerful than her back in the day uh, because you know he had no emotions he didn't speak he didn't know what to do he, the only thing that he knew how to do was fight and uh, and he enjoyed the uh, battle and um, and I guess, uh, you know, um, since Kempachi has, like, um, you know, learned how to, like, um, you know, he hasn't really, uh, you know, fought anybody like Unahana uh, beef, um, um, after that, um, he's sort of lost his uh, way, I guess you could say. And uh, now um, Unahana's trying to bring that back, uh, you know, bring back that Kempachi who, um, you know, who won... Um, who just focused on the battle, who didn't think of anything else, who only, uh, you know, um, you know, felt the thrill of the, uh, battle, and, uh, that's what she was trying to do, and she was like, I'm gonna keep on healing you, and keep on reviving you over and over again, to, until you get back to that state, um, where you didn't care about anything else, about boasting, uh, um, you know, or anything else, um, you just focused on the battle, and, uh, nothing else, and, uh, that was really cool, and I loved the, uh, when we get into, uh, Unahana's are bam bonkai and i love how she like grabs her sword and she like you know cuts herself and she like you know draw, um she like gives the, um, the sword all of her like um she makes the sword like go all blood um like a blood sword and it looks really cool like honestly this reminds me of uh one of the elden ring uh swords uh the rivers of blood and um katana and then um, and it looks like a you know jagged sort of katana with a red tint to it and that's what i um you know that's what I feel when I, I mean, when I saw, you know, Unahana's, like, sword, it had, like, this, you know, blood tint to it, and, uh, and you can see all this blood is all over the ground and everything like that, and it's just like, holy shit, Unahana is terrifying, uh, you know, and her bonkai is so cool and so demonic and so, like, just eerie and everything like that, and then we see the fight go on, and we see him Kampachi, uh, you know, turn into, like, a skeleton, like, half of his face turns into, into a skeleton and he's like you know what's going on here and um and he's like, you know, um, and, uh, she's like, and I love how she goes into a bonkai when she's like, a uh, playtime is over, and she grabs a blade and everything like that, it looks so cool. And then we, uh, and then we see, like, Unahana also turns into, like, a skeleton as well, and looks really awesome and cool, and then we see, um, and then, uh, we get to the, uh, sort of the end, ending of the fight, uh, and, uh, Kenpachi does win, uh, we, I kind of already knew that he was going to win, obviously, and, uh, because this was, this was all training for him, and, uh, you know, and one of them was going to die, uh, regardless, and, uh, and Udahana is, you know, dead now, and, um, and, uh, you know, Kenpachi runs her through and everything like that. And he's like, no, you can't die. You can't die here. You know, I was having too much, uh, I mean, uh, fun with the battle. You know, you got to keep uh, living and everything like that. So, yeah. So, the, the, this first half of the episode was, like, amazing. Like, 10 out of 10. Like, it was amazing. The fight, the animation, the art, the... Um, the atmosphere around the fight, you know, Unahana's Bankai, everything was so, you know, cool and awesome, and I love this. The second part of the, um, you know, um, part of the episode was like, okay, um, you know, it was a bit, um, you know, whatever. We got to see, uh, the, uh, next, uh, you know, um, 
Zero Squad member and is the uh, uh, the creator of Zompok Toes. So his name is uh, Osuno, the god of the sword, uh, Insima. I probably butchered that name, sorry, but he is one of the Zero Squad members, and he opens up with like a concert, and uh, he g transports Ichigo and also uh, Renji to this, uh, you know, place where there's a bunch of chicks uh, that look really, you know, nice and hot and sexy, and, uh, and Ichigo and, uh, you know, Renji are just out of it, and, uh, and I love Connie, so it's like, this is paradise, and it's just, it's kind of funny, and I love how, like, he goes up to Ichigo and starts doing the, like, um, you know, the little handshake and everything like that, and he's all, like, you know, sort of like that, that gangster rapper type of thing going on, and he reminds me of, like, Killer B from, like, Naruto, and it's so funny, <laughs> so yeah, and then uh, Ichigo and uh, Renji, uh, you know, bow to him and say, we'd like to um, just stay and train with you, and then he's like, no, 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 that's not how you do it, that's, um, you've got to do it this way, and he uh, does a really, um, you know, retarded pose, and Ichigo and, you know, Renji do that pose as well, <laughs> it's like, oh my god, this is funny shit, so yeah, and then we get to see, um, they go to this uh, shack, and uh, they learnt, um, they learn about, you know, what uh, the Zompokto really is, and everything like that. And uh, he, um, all the, you know, all the girls that were back there were apparently Zompoktos, and they get, um, you know, um. In this shack, uh, you know, Ichigo and also uh, Renji are going to go through their trial of, you know, trying to, uh, you know, um, recreate their uh, Zompok toes. And uh, the, uh, um, us, um, the Zero Sword member, uh, you know, breaks their swords. And uh, we see that he breaks them. And he says, like, you have to survive in this uh, pit uh, with all these, uh, you know, no-name Zompok toes, uh, you know, and... Um, if you survive in there for like three days, um, you know, I will remake your swords. And uh, Ichigo and also, um, you know, Renji, uh, you know, go in there and they, um, you know, fight a bunch of like, uh, you know, nameless swords um, that look like mannequins and everything like that. And uh, so, yeah. Then we also see that uh, Kenpachi walks out of that room that he was versing Unohana uh, with, and he um, is the victor of the battle, and uh, that is where the episode sort of ends, but then there's an end credit scene uh, with the uh, Zero Squad member, and he comes back after three days, and uh, Renji has passed the trial. He has, uh, you know, he... He will remake you know, Renji's sword uh, for him, but Ichigo, he has failed the uh, trial, and, uh, they, and he will not make his sword for him. He will not make another, uh, you know, Zangetsu. And uh, and he explains to him that you, um, you are not ready. You are not a true soul reaper, and uh, you need to go back to your roots, and you need to find out who you, um, who you really are, and everything like that. And uh, Ichigo, um, you know, doesn't. Um, comply with that he's like you know no i can't um i can't go back home after all this after coming this far and everything like that and um he's just like um that's too bad you need to go back and find out you know what your roots are and you know where you came from and everything like that and start from your you know start from scratch so yeah so that is basically the episode in a nutshell. It was a very good episode. I really enjoyed this episode. I'd give this a good solid, you know, 9 out of 10. Uh, you know, I would say um, it, if it would be um, 10 out of 10, uh, I would have liked a little bit um, um, this second part to be a bit more, I don't know. Um, the second part was just kind of like, eh. The first part was amazing. I thought the episode was like a 10 out of 10. And then uh, the second part was like, eh. So um, I would give it a good solid, you know, 9 out of 10 or maybe a 9.5 out of 10 it was a really good episode i really enjoyed this and uh you know bleach keeps on you know um you know upping the bar every single time an episode comes out there's a bar and they keep on going above and beyond i'm loving every single episode it's unfortunate that we're gonna we only have two more episodes to go um and we've um and i'm very sad about that but i uh, i'm very um happy that you know i got to see you know bleach uh this well done and uh you know it's already uh you know anime of the year in my eyes so yeah but anyways uh let's uh i'm gonna end this video right here uh this is your boy shonen boy signing out you know like and subscribe comment down below uh what do you think about this uh episode did you like this episode did you dislike this episode uh you know what did you think about the fight between kenpachi uh versus uh you know unohana uh you know what do you think about you know uh, unohana's bonkai uh, did, um, did you 
think that this part was really cool, and uh, what did you think about the second part of the episode uh, with the uh, Zero Squad member, um, and uh, you know, um, and talking about the uh, Zon Pocto and Ichigo and uh, Ranji's uh, trial. Uh, anything you want to talk about the episode, put that in the comments down below, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later, and have an awesome day.